All the presenters, everyone that attends this conference is so friendly, so willing to teach, um, so willing to learn from you too. So it's not just watching these videos, it's kind of getting that insight afterwards and around at dinner, at drinks, um, like all the other aspects of the conference besides just like that technical information. So it was uh, 2016, I had spent the previous eight years working on various software projects, mostly in large corporates. That year I took over a new challenge. It was still a software project, but few things were different. The first one, it was uh, based on a breakthrough technology developed by the academic partner. So it was a total novelty, no clear roadmap, not even a clear market for it. Then I had a small, team of six people and we were operating in a kind of a startup environment, so with limited budget and a time constraint. So that was quite challenging. There was a lot of uncertainty and a lot of complexity to solve. I soon figured that actually the make it or break it, it wasn't really about the technology, but it was about finding a way to collaborate as a team to foster creativity, to find solution and way to deal with this uncertainty. So I looked out at some of the frameworks that put people in the center. I started to learn to ask experts and I started to apply some of those, but then again, figured this wasn't enough. I actually had to learn new skills like facilitation skills. For example, I started to run some exercises where I gave the team five minutes, I asked them to be completely silent, to use post-its, for example, to brainstorm about the specific challenge we had or about the specific solution, ideas for a specific solution we wanted to, to find. And the interesting thing is was that we not only, of course, in five minutes, could, as a team of six, deliver way more inputs than if we would have talked for five minutes, but also that everybody had the same chances to express themselves. So it doesn't matter if you were shy or if you were a loud person or if you were talkative, everybody had the same chances to be heard. The other thing was another exercise that really helped me, and it was called silent voting. In that also, exercise, I asked the team, for example, for a few minutes to be silent and to look at the input that we delivered before, make a decision on what they believed it was the most important thing that we need to tackle first, and then ask them to vote. Giving this uh, opportunity to the team meant also that it doesn't matter if you were more a junior or a more senior person, you had the same chances to express what you thought it was a priority. This was only possible though, if you uh, create a kind of an environment that foster working in an anonymous way. So it's really important that, for example, for the same exercise, you choose the same color of post-its or the same color of Sharpies or even the same color of voting dots. So that in the small amount of time that the team has to develop, uh, to de deliver actually their inputs, the, they will have to focus on the content and leave behind lots of the biases of team dynamics that might be there. Last but not least, when there was all this silence that of course uh, enabled people to express themselves with the same opportunities, I saw an opportunity to play some music actually and to help even further the team to focus and uh, actually uh, deliver even more creative solution. So this helps of course also the team to relax and have a bit of fun. Just to say, this is of course not the only solution, it's not perfect, but it helped me a lot to work with teams, with customers, with users successfully in the past, and really to unleash the potential of everybody that I worked with. Thank you.